Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial and today we're going to create something like this one. Okay, let's get started. Create file, new, 1080 by 1080 and press create. Okay, for the first, let's work on the first image and we're going to use this one. Uh, it's an image from Unsplash by Julian Riddle. Thanks Julian Riddle. And let's open up in Photoshop. Let's uh, drag this up until it fills the entire artboard. Yeah, this is okay. Let's press this one. I want this image a little bit dark. Let's add an adjustment curves and drag the curves down somewhere like this one. Okay, and let's add a little bit color balance we add a little bit bluish color yeah maybe some somewhere like this one okay for the next part let's add a text press type tool and drag a rectangle somewhere like this one and type stay home okay by the way, I use phone called Backman. It's a free phone. Yeah, it's a hundred percent free phone, which is awesome. And the settings is around here, and the color is white. Now let's put it somewhere in the middle, or in this, or in the center. Let's put this into zero, the fill and. add stroke the color will be around pink yeah something like this press ok ok for the next let's create the light from this uh, text and now let's duplicate this one let's call it neon light and then go to filter Gaussian blur now you start to see the lights coming on from the text press ok the value run 10 maybe you want to change this into a screen oh, I'm sorry screen and maybe I would like to add color overlay to make a stronger color yes yeah the color maybe something pink stronger pink or purple let's press ok let's see you see the difference now yes the color is more stronger right now but the light is still weak so let's just duplicate once more and maybe more Gaussian blur simply click twice here and add more value let's see the difference yeah it's now it's a bit more spread the light we change to linear dodge uh, it doesn't help much okay stick with the screen all right for the next part let's create the light reflection on the street to do this, let's create a new layer, rename it as Reflection, and we're going to use Brush Tool for this one. Let's grab Brush Tool. It's, yeah, make something like this. You can create by general brush and simply drag it somewhere like this one. So it makes a s awful size, awful shape, I mean. And then Opacity 100 and color, yeah, something pink, but a little bit more into white. White, co what color? Okay, let's try it. Oh, yeah, the mode will be overlay. And now let's paint it over here. Okay, let's that looks cool. Let's add more. Yeah, that's 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 it's okay. 
but maybe you want a little bit more stronger light effects let's simply drag and to duplicate here now now it goes too strong let's reduce the opacity let's see the difference by hiding this one yeah yeah you can control the letter simply by by editing this opacity all right for the next part you can create uh, more ambience light around the text to do so let's create a new layer ambience light okay ambience or whatever and the mode will be screen we we are going to use a brush tool yeah something like pinkish color opacity 25 let's try okay that's pretty nice yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. Now let's make the light from this text is a bit way more stronger. Let's add effects on this layer, the main text. Add color overlay. And use this brighter color. And press OK. And then maybe I'd like to add more outer glow. Oh, that's pretty cool. But I think I will not add too much. Yeah, maybe somewhere like that one. Press OK. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool now. I'd like to make the city background a little bit darker now. To do so, let's click on this, but then add a new layer from here. New layer, maybe name is darken. Mode will be overlay, and make sure you press this one. So you got this 50% gray layer. And we're going to use burn tool. And the exposure around 31. And then paint around here. Yeah, it's like a vignette slight vignette and I want the sky goes a little bit more dark to do so let's uh, select this layer and use magic one the tolerance 50 and press this here and pr uh, press shift and to adjust the selection and then you go back to this darken and select burn tool once again and paint it around here so let's see zoom out yeah I think it's pretty yeah I think it's pretty cool or maybe I'd like to make the background here a bit dark too let's go burn tool once again maybe smaller s brush size Yeah, I think it's, it's okay. I might want to add more ambience light around center right here and the road reflection a little bit more. So let's create, I think here, let's create new layer. Ambience number two, because they're already the first here. And the mode will be overlay. Now grab brush tool, the color, I don't know, maybe this kind of color, okay. The opacity 60%, maybe a bit lower. And the size is okay, let's, I think, increase a bit. And let's brush it around here. Oh, that's pretty cool, the sky looks great with this. And then maybe the street here also needs a little bit treatment with the color. Maybe brighter color or more intensified pink. Maybe around here with brighter, whiter color. Oh, 
Okay, I'm quite happy with the results so far right now. And for the final part, maybe you want to add tone. I'm using color balance and maybe grab blues up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's uh, pretty much like cyberpunk type of artwork right now. And you can go crazy with these settings in color balance to to fit your likings. Okay, now I'm g I'm going to explain why I use smart objects here. And this is the very nice feature of smart object. You can change the whole text here, the fonts, and without leaving the effects, without doing redoing the effects. Let's give you an example. I'm going to show it in two up vertical display. So this is the smart object. So you can use type tool again, click on it, and maybe you can change text uh, something like uh, yeah, miss you. <laughs> Press OK and save it. And you change the text. And even you can also change the fonts. I'm sorry, let's create, I mean, I use type tool, maybe you want to use another fonts. yeah, for example, like this one, and save it, and it's changed. Okay, if there is a border like this one, you simply fix in the smart object, use crop tool, and press save again and you fix it it's pretty easy it's pretty cool and you can change to any text or any fonts that you want well that's it for the tutorial i hope you enjoy this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial thank you and bye bye